This is Sherry from Sherry DePaulo Art, and I'm so excited to be bringing you another video for the Sean Petit Creative Team for this year. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to paint this beauty right here. This is a farmhouse truck with some sunflowers, flowers in a flower uh, field, and a beautiful saying, create your own sunshine, which is great advice for anyone. Um, so this is what we're going to do. I'm going to show you how I painted out the sunflowers which I used a stencil and the stencil I used was Sean Petit's um, daisy stencil and it's a daisy stencil but I turned them into sunflowers and I think they look like sunflowers and then I used the truck stencil which she calls the farmhouse truck and it's a stencil with a large truck and a small truck and I did the large truck so I'm going to walk you through how I created this um, canvas and how I embellished and um, added depth and character to the truck and to the flowers by using the stencils in a way that they are more of a guide for me than actually using them as a stencil. I stenciled them and then painted over them to make them look more, um, more of my style. So make sure you subscribe and like this video, leave any comments and I'll get back to you if you have any questions or anything. Also really like it if you followed me on social media, you can go to my website at sherrydepaloart.com and then also follow me on YouTube as well. So I hope you enjoy the video. Thanks and I'll talk to you soon. I started with some Mod Podge matte medium and used it to adhere scrapbook paper that I had in my scrapbooking stash. I then used a makeup sponge and used cadmium red deep hue from Liquitex Basics to stencil out the truck and then cut the truck out. I'm now using Jet Black Stays On ink and using it with my texture stamps to give the canvas some texture and depth. I grabbed an old gift card and used it to apply light blue permanent and Payne's gray paint onto the background to represent the sky. And then I'll use it again with the green paints from Liquitec Basics and use it to add color and texture to the base of the canvas to represent the grass. To add a little bit more texture, I used some bubble wrap and applied some white titanium paint and some yellows and stamped them onto the canvas to add, again, more depth and more texture. I grabbed my archival inks and used my ink stencils Tim Holtz tool to apply some ink to kind of age and texture the truck because I want the truck to be like an old farmhouse truck. I grabbed my trusty nail file and used it to age the truck even more by using it kind of like sandpaper and kind of scraping off some of the coloring to make it look as though the truck had been rusting and the paint was peeling because I wanted it to look old. And then I took another texture stamp and just applied ink in the certain spot so that I could add some lines onto the truck again to give it texture and make it look aged. With my palette knife I'm using cadmium red deep hue and applying some paint in a fashion that makes it look sort of like um, like lines in in the on the truck and kind of giving the truck some texture and some some depth I'm applying it to the door and to the fenders in the back of the truck and just kind of add an interest to it the additional stencils that I'm using are the Daisy one the Wildflower, Flower Silhouette 3, Vintage Wallpaper 1, and 
roses and peonies. I'm starting with the Daisy One stencil and using gesso and a makeup sponge to apply the stencil to the background um, in the grass area so that I have like a pattern of where I'm going to paint my flowers. Sean Petit uses that all the time and uses it as a guide and which is what I'm doing as well. And what I decided to do was take some yellow paints, different colors, cadmium yellow deep hue, yellow oxide, and hands yellow medium golden paint and I'm just going between the three of them and applying the paint over top of the stencil and giving it a painterly look and again using the stencil as my guide and here I am doing the um, stems as well and you can see where I started with a little bit of the lighter color yellow and then I'm adding in some of the darker yellow oxide to give it some depth and I'm going to continue to do that with the other flower as well. using burnt umber to paint the flower centers of all the flowers and I'll use that throughout the painting as well. A little tip, don't forget to dry the paint when you start to paint more because what happens is a lot of times you'll be using you'll be moving the painting around and your arm will touch the paint if it's wet and mess up what you've already done. So make sure that periodically you always dry your paints. I'm using Carbon Black Liquitech Basics to paint out the wheels and I'm painting over the red area on the wheels from the stencil. I'm going back and using some more of the stencils to apply additional um, flowers. These, this is the wildflower stencil and I'm using the white gesso and the makeup sponge and deciding where I'm going to place them and then I'm going to use my reds to color them in. I'm using deep red and portrait pink, light portrait pink. And I'm applying the red first to all the flower areas and then I'm grabbing some pink and mixing it in and giving it some depth and going back with some red at the end there. Then using my two greens, my brilliant yellow and my medium green, and I'm putting in some stems and leaves. It's now time for some black ink line work and I use my Pilot G2 pen which is my favorite pen to use and you can see where I'm putting my line work in. That's something that I really love to do and not everybody does it when they do a painting but I like to add the line work in. I feel like it gives it again more depth and more interest and really makes the flowers or whatever it is that you're lining makes it pop out. And also, as you can see, um, I didn't like the way it looked, and if you use a wipe, it will come off if you wipe it off right away, and then you can go ahead and fix it. I'm also using the pen to do the line work on the truck, and you can see where um, normally what happens is Sean will use that with a charcoal pencil and rub it in, but I just didn't like that look for myself so I use my pen to do the line work and then here I'm adding some gray into the tires and some white and again using my pen to do more line work to make the um, the truck and the tires stand out. Here I'm using my big brush pit artist pen and coloring in the black areas of the wheel again just to give it you know, more solid color. I'm 
I'm using my big artist pit brush pen in cold gray 3 and adding a little bit of shading to the window area of the truck and some other areas in the truck. I got my liner brush and used titanium white paint to add some detailing to the truck in the fender area, the door area, just to make it look like it had more depth and interest. I decided that I needed to add and fill in some of the area in the grass area, so I used the Vintage Wallpaper 1 stencil and started um, choosing the smaller flowers within the stencil and using my gesso and makeup sponge to apply them so that I can paint them and then they will fill in the space in the grassy area. I used Liquitex Basics Red Oxide and Cadmium Orange Hue and mixed the two colors together to fill in the flowers, those small flowers that I had just stenciled in. And I'm just going back and forth between the two colors and adding it to the petals. And then here you see that I decided, I thought, you know what, I'm gonna add that orange into the sunflowers as well. So I went ahead and did that too. Um, I just feel like mixing the colors and adding more darks and lights together just really makes everything pop out. I picked up the Flower Silhouette 3 stencil and thought, you know what, I could use white titanium and just stencil on a few of those little bits and add a little bit of interest into that area, so that's what I did. I then took my blue paint and my white titanium paint and mixed them together to give it an even lighter blue and decided that I didn't like all the busyness that was going on in the sky because I wanted to add clouds. So I mixed those two colors together and then painted the background of the sky area solid blue. Here I have my special cloud brush, I call it. It's just an old brush that I use to smush and pounce white paint on when I want to do clouds. I grab my cold gray 3 pit artist pen and I'm using it to add a little bit of um, markings into the clouds to sort of show where the top and bottom of the clouds are to give it a more of a popping look so that it looks more realistic. I then grab my Daisy 1 stencil again and to me they look like sunflowers at least that's how I made them look in the painting obviously not as daisies but I thought I needed to add more in the grass area, so I did, and I painted those out. And then in the top of the truck, in the bed of the truck, I had added some sunflowers that I sort of just kind of dabbed on, and I didn't really like that look. 
So I covered it up with more green paint and then I added the stencil again of the daisy one. I added three daisies that I turned into sunflowers so that I could put them in the back of the truck and kind of cover up that space. Then I decided to use my blue, my light blue permanent Liquitex color to do the sides of the canvas to finish it off because it went really well with the sky. I don't have very good hand lettering skills, so what I do is I type up my quote or saying or word in Microsoft Word, pick my font, decide how big I want it to be, and then I print it. And when I print it, I use tissue paper, I tape it to copy paper, or I'm sorry, to the printer paper, run it through the printer, and then I have my words on tissue paper that I can then apply to the canvas. Here I have the first word in my saying for this canvas, it's the word create and I have it printed on the tissue paper and behind it is the printer paper that gives it the sturdiness that I need in order to work with it and decide where it is that I want to place it. Then you'll see that the rest of the um, quote that I chose or that I the words that I chose um, I have those printed as well and I'm going to use Mod Podge to adhere it but what I do first is I get my big tweezers and I just kind of hold it where I want to want to use it and the tweezers just help me eyeball it better and then I put it back over top of the printer paper because of the sturdiness and that allows me to fussy cut it much easier if you were to try to cut this with just the tissue paper with nothing underneath it, it makes it a lot harder it's more flimsy so I do it that way then take my tweezers again and place it where I want it and then I pick the rest of the words that I want to include on my um, canvas and did the same thing where I fussy cut the words out with the printer paper in the background for sturdiness and then decided with my tweezers where I want to place them and adhere them down with the Mod Podge. Once I like the placement I just pull it off add a little bit of Mod Podge, not a lot, put the word down, smooth it out without any wrinkles because then that allows it to look as though I actually wrote it on the canvas. It kind of hides the fact that it's actually on tissue paper because the tissue paper blends into the background and you can't really see it. And I'm doing the same thing with the rest of the quote that I'm attaching. Smoothing everything out and applying Mod Podge on top to seal it. I grab my Pitt Big Brush Light Cobalt Turquoise and I use it to cover up some of the spacing where the where you can tell that there is some tissue paper. Then I get my Stazon Till Blue and use it to highlight the frame of the picture. 